I'm Mark Mullins bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. The man shot by a state trooper on Thursday was wanted for kidnapping. Troopers saw a Dodge Charger driving erratically near 34th Street and Franklin Road on the city's east side and pulled it over. ISP says a passenger armed with a handgun immediately got out and ran into a neighborhood. Trooper Isaiah Henderson eventually caught up with the man and shot him in the arm. It's not clear if the suspect pointed his gun at the trooper or if there was a struggle. As that was all happening, the driver in the car took off. ISP is still looking for the car. More than 300,000 people are expected at IMS on Sunday. Officials are planning ahead to keep the experience both efficient and safe. There will be more than 1,000 officers on the grounds. This is also the first year a new metal detector system will be in place at all of the gates. Lastly, officials say if you see something suspicious, say something. Even though we have that large law enforcement uh, presence in the motor speedway, uh, please, as spectators, we can't be everywhere. And if you see something that seems out of the ordinary, please call and call 911. Uh, let us know if there's something that you see out of the ordinary. For information about what you can and cannot bring to the track, find this story at WRTV.com. And be sure to join us on Sunday for breakfast at the Brickyard. WRTV will be bringing you the sights and sounds from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway from 6 a.m. to 7.30. Then we'll air the Formula One Monaco Grand Prix. And we'll have live coverage once again at IMS for brunch at the Brickyard. That's at 11 a.m. to noon. It's all on WRTV.